Hi guys, this is going to be the third installment of telling you about some of my clocks. This clock was my great-grandmother's. It used to hang in her living room a long time ago, and it does run. It just needs a new, or not a new, but an S-rotor put in it. So, other than that, there's nothing really wrong with it. Cosmetically, it's in pretty nice shape. Of course, it shows wear from age which is typical but this clock is from the 70s and it looks like a cutting board as you can tell and I really don't know much about this type of clock but they made it in different colors it was brown which you see here green and I think and I'm pretty sure there was one more anyway but like I said, this clock runs very well, and I will take it off the wall where you can see the back. It's really not much to look at, but I'll do it anyway. That's the back of it. Pretty typical. And there's the sticker with the model name on it and where it was made and all that jazz. Let's see if I can't get it back on the wall one-handed. This could be interesting. Huh, that went easy. Thank you. But yeah, and while I'm at it, I might as well cover a fourth clock of mine. I'm going to move to another electric one. This is a cute little Spartus miniature grandfather clock that is also from the 70s in very nice shape. It works great too. And there's not a whole lot to see about it really, but I like it. And I'll show you the back of it too. And I took the original screws that were holding it out and put some Phillips heads in. The original ones were these square looking things that to me are a pain in the rear. And then here's the sticker to this in very nice shape too. So yeah, if you guys don't have room for a regular grandfather clock, then get you one of these little miniature Spartans. They're very nice too. The movement isn't really meant to be taken apart, but other than that, no biggie. So yeah, mm, thanks itching, sorry. I hope you guys are having a good day, and if you'd like to, like and subscribe and share, I'd love that. And what other one should I cover today? Well, that's two, so I'll leave it at two. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.